All right, let's continue this, yeah? If you're watching the slide on YouTube, thanks for clicking, by the way. All right. I should probably go back to the First Kingdom as well. You know what? Let's just do that. Because it, it does make you gloss over the First Kingdom quite a bit. There's also stuff in the Cap Kingdom as well. Like, it's weird that it makes you skip over it. Anyway. Go to the Cascade Kingdom. This can wait. Oh, man, I gotta go get more of this tea. It's so good. It's like this mango and like the slightest hint of mint with it, but designed to be iced tea. Oh yeah, right, they're always review skills. Spaghetti! <laughs> that's not what he says. I like to think that's what he says. There's more to do here. I love how just simple this is. It's just like, oh. Why wasn't this at the start, huh? I mean, I'll keep the costumes fresh, so. Really. It's really cool, this outfit. <laughs> yeah, it does say Famicom. I think that's like in reference to, um, I think he was like the cover up for an F1 game. Where's the skull of his enemies? Vandalism. Oh, that's not active yet. Okay. Oh, this. I need to rush, right? Like. Plenty of time. Ah, oh, there's some coins. I don't remember where everything is. I'll do my best. I'll just do it up until t the point where I feel like, okay, I don't know where others are, and then I'll just continue. I'll come back for them later. That's the best way to play it. Whoops. 
Didn't mean to do that. But sure, now that that's there. That may have been something. <laughs> Forget how many moons this has. I remember one of them being in one of these rocks. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Uh oh, hold on. Smash the rock. Wait, it doesn't work? Really? Man, here I thought I was being clever. There we go. It just breaks automatically. The way I approach moons, it was just using the bird more than anything else, instead of being told exactly where it is. You can more or less figure it out with the bird. Hey, Nick, how's it going? Oh, oh, ooh. That was close. Almost fell. Did I get the moon here? I can't remember. I can always have a look. I think I did. Like, here, isn't it? No? Oh, no, it's here. Yeah, I did get it. Just making sure. I got coins anyway, so... Not a complete waste of time. I'm gonna need all the coins I can get if I'm gonna buy everything. I honestly don't remember if this had anything. might. everything. Okay. Alright, I'm I'm convinced, I'm convinced. I see Toad over there. You know what I keep seeing videos of is like that kid that 
broke Tetris and that stupid anchor lady that like said it wasn't a life goal. <laughs> I only say it because she is Australian. Like, yeah, it's on an Australian news show. But it is annoying to see that. Like, come on. Dude's 13. Not everything has to be a life goal. And even if you're an adult, like... Not everything has to be functional. Like, you're not a machine. I don't know. Just seeing that video just reminded me of some people that I've come across in my life that tend to have that kind of attitude for anyone that plays games. G good! <laughs> Whoops. You hate that clip? Yeah, because she just has just the most smug attitude. Sounds like a boomer. It, she is a boomer, but that aside, like, that attitude does exist for non-boomers as well. Just, man, just let people be happy. Don't shit on their parade just because you have no interest in what they're doing. Yeah, I, I keep seeing it just because it's an Australian news anchor. So it's appeared more often than not in feeds here. Oh, the clip of the kid freaking out. See, that's the thing. I, I've only seen the clip of the kid, like, once. And everything else is just that lady and people being annoyed at her. It's just basically someone saying, oh, why do they why do they play video games for? What a waste of time. Grow up. Go do something productive with your life. Productive people don't play video games. That's just that. That's all it is. But anytime I see that sort of thing, it just... It... Definitely... Uh, causes, like, a visceral reaction to me. It's just like, ugh, I hate it. I've had my fair share of, like, people reacting to that sort of... Like, just the notion of me playing games. You were skeptical, like, it's the first time that's happened. I mean, my understanding of it is, like, it's extremely hard to pull off. So it's like, people knew that it was possible, no one's really done it. I mean, that stuff is cool to watch. Yeah, I'm just debating if this is death or if there's anything down. Death it is. <laughs> Let's try. If only the gaming industry was worth hundreds of billions, maybe people would take games seriously. Yeah, see, that's the thing I don't get is like... I mean, okay, it's understandable when it comes from a boomer. Because it's, they, just, they just don't get it, it's just... You know, eventually, anything that is just new to you when you're above the age of 50, odds are you're probably not going to be 
too accepting of it or just willing to understand it. It's just, just how it is. But dude, I get that attitude from like people my age and younger. It's just... I've been on dates where like the moment they hear I, I like, I have interest in games and shit. Oh man, there's a look they get on their face. And it's pretty much immediately over after that point. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. That attitude can be learnt, I, I guess. I don't know. It's becoming less of a thing, like... You know, the balance has shifted, but... It's... It's still a thing. I mean, it, it used to be just what owning a damn computer... You'd get made fun of. I didn't really experience much of that. For spending a lot of time on the computer, sure. Like, man... Spending too much time on the computer these days is... is... fine. It's like, I'd be worried about spending too much time on a phone... more than a computer. You personally think anyone who watches The Bachelor is not allowed to have negative opinions about people who play video games? You've had someone who watches The Bachelor have a negative opinion of video games? Or just, just generalizing, just like, well, they watch reality TV shows. I don't know, man, like, I just see it as a more fundamental thing, as like... At the end of the day... We, as humans, do things that make our brain release happy chemicals. And everyone has a different way to release said chemical. So it's, but at the end of the day, it's still the same fundamental desire and want to have that happen. So why the fuck would you shit on someone and call them weird when they're just trying to do what you do as well? It's like finding some happiness. Oh, because games were, like, marketed as devices for children and nerds in the 1980s and 90s? And you're hanging on to that? Why did I turn back? I don't know. If you, if you look at the commercials for video games from, like, the 1990s... ...and just compare them to now, like... The commercial for the original Legend of Zelda, do you know what the tagline was? It was like, The Legend of Zelda, your parents help you hook it up. And it was two nerds, like, rapping about The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> the, the commercials in the 90s definitely set, like just that, oh, people that play games are losers, or they're like children, or nerds, when it's not the case. I think the ultimate irony is just like... I'm, I'm not kidding. <laughs> that was one. I got one of those scenarios where, you know, just went out and the person I was with, I was talking to them and just what I do is on in my spare time, I'm like, oh, I like playing games. And again, the look of disgust thing. You know, kind of, kind of went south from there. But then, you know, they kept using their phone and I was like, what are you doing on your phone? 
like you're checking Facebook or something like, oh no, I'm playing like, I forgot what it even was, but it was like a, one of those mobile games that's just like, oh, wait, so I'm, I'm the one who has like a bad quality, but you're playing like one of these, you don't understand, like uh, it was like, yeah, it may as well have been Clash of the Clans, like not to talk shit about a game without knowing of it, but just one of those things that they probably saw like a commercial on a YouTube video and were like, oh, that looks fun. And it's just one of those pay to win, like just horrible, horrible games. I wouldn't say anything bad about Clash of Clans because I haven't played it, so I can't say bad things about it. But just think of the most horrible mobile game you know. That's just one of those ones where it's like, you know, you have your dailies and then you run out of time and if you want to, like, get more time, you pay a little bit of money so then you can get your time back. Just that sort of shit, you know? Okay, well now I can go. Mobile games that existed during your high school years have a home in your heart. Mobile games used to be decent. Because there used to be experiences that were designed to take advantage of, like, the touchscreen and the fact that they were on a phone. They were, they were really cool things, originally. And then at a certain point, I don't know, we just kind of accepted them as being things that... Just <laughs> are what they are today. But, you know, stuff like Fruit Ninja, Cut the Rope... Um, oh, there was a few other ones. Those are the two that, that come off the top of my head, right? There were lighter apps. Yeah. The torch, like having a, a torch, that was funny. Or a QR code scanner. Why am I going back in here? I guess because I want to scale this. Apologies, <laughs> like the conversation went a little bit down. I, I don't know. I didn't feel like it was too much of a rant, but just I've just practically everywhere I've looked today, just that that video and that lady have popped up, and just a reminder of just that. Oh, I already got that one. Worst is when you get snobby attitude from someone who reads the book. Yeah, I've gotten that too. What am I missing? Again, I'm just gonna look until I've... I feel like I've found enough from memory and then... I'll go to the next kingdom. I don't want to spend too much time looking. That can happen later. Although I can get a hint from here. Very nice shot with a chain chomp. Okay. Chain Chomp would it be referring to? Hater that the moons aren't in order of what you can get. Yeah, it's a little confusing. It's 
like moon number four can often be something that you don't get till way later. There's also the Captain Toad one. Like, there's an alcove over there. I just have to drop. Ooh, that was close. I mean, I may as well destroy all this stuff. Where else are the chain chomps? Oh, there's one down there. You know what the worst, <laughs> the worst, uh, I guess, just per person trying to make me feel bad about what I was doing. The worst one I got was like, just, this was in high school. But there was this girl that said that I was wasting my life learning Photoshop. I just used to take an interest in graphic design on computers. So she was like, you're, Will, you're wasting your life playing with Photoshop. I'm like, I'm not playing. I'm learning professional design software. Oh, man. Yep, I'm, I'm an idiot. You got me. Hmm. I don't know what this nice shot is referring to. There's probably one more other chain chomp somewhere. I can't see anywhere this would want me to shoot. Alright, I'm going further up. Anyway, I hope that kid's doing doing well. I'm sure he is. Okay, so hang on, the toad thing, let me get my bearings. Not here, is it? <laughs> definitely getting paid for his video, I would imagine so. News outlets definitely have to have to contact you to use it. But you know, they're so evil. Because the way they typically do it is they, the first they ask if they can use the video, they don't ask if, you know, hey, we'll pay you if we use the video. Like they always try to get it for free first. But typically you just ask, it's like, well, pay me, then you can use it. And 99% of the time they'll be like, yeah. You can get something for it, but they will always be like, nah, just, hey, can we use the video? They'll just try to get it without paying for anything. I mean, it brings traffic to their website and they get advertising from it. That's like, or whatever they get. They're just trying to ride the viral wave. Is this just 
Cliffhanger. Hier, komm her. I mean, even if he didn't get paid for his video, I imagine his stream would have gone in, like, a boost for sure. That's usually... Like a very good uh, chance to make your channel something. Okay, this was probably a dumb choice, but why, why did I do this? This is like the original Legend of Zelda just ruining me as a person, just thinking that there's secrets everywhere. I mean, to be fair, there's something up here, but it's not anything worth the time or risking my life over. And the camera won't turn back around. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's that's nice. So I lost the coins that I gained. Oh well. What do you think? Is there something? Is there a secret on that hill? No, there isn't. It's fine. I've gotten better at it. It's like not doing that to myself. Can't believe I didn't see those. All right. I think the coolest thing to me just with that Tetris thing is just people still playing the NES version of that game just because of how solid it is. It's a timeless game, that one. Same with the Game Boy version, they're just... They do what they do, and they do it extremely well. Love Tetris 99, that was fun. The only thing I didn't like was the damn Pro Controller. That's when I realized the Pro Controller is not a good controller. Tetris 99 just ruined my image of the Pro Controller. Before that point, I was like, man, the Pro Controller is like the best controller I've ever had. And then Tetris 99 single-handedly just removed that illusion. It's just... It's a good controller, but man, the D-pad on this thing sucks. Made me, it made me realize that the amount of times I accidentally slammed down a piece <laughs> in that game, oh man, it was infuri- it was infuriating. Okay, Captain Toad is like down here. Don't worry, I won't do the voice. I, my throat kind of hurts. Fancy meeting you here. That's right, it's me, Captain Toad. I'm traveling the world looking for power moons. Okay. You have the modded Joy-Con with the D-pad and it's amazing. For me, if I'm using portable, I have my Split Pad Pro, which is good. 
Um, the downside of it, of course, that it doesn't have rumble. But um, something my brother got that I got a chance to to try. Oh, what's it called? It's like this new this new thing that's effectively like a case for it, but it comes with controller as well. And the sticks on it are Hall Effect sticks, and um, the Nitro deck, that thing, yeah. My brother got one. Honestly, if there wasn't the possibility of a new console on the horizon, I was tempted to get one, because it felt really comfortable. It, it makes your Switch pretty bulky, but at the end of the day, man, the comfort is great. Does it have Rumble? Uh, I don't know. I didn't play a game with it, like, I just kind of felt the sticks and just how it felt. Oh, okay. I can probably look up the specs and see. I'd be surprised if it didn't. Like, it was marketed as the premier thing. Let me see. I'm kind of curious myself. The Professional, not Premier. My apologies. Uh, so where are the features, though? I'll try not to derail. Keep moving. I'll go see the bird as well. This could be over here. Wait, what does it say? Hey. Dinosaur nest running wild. Interesting. I can't really find any info about it. And it would have to be with the dinosaur, so... I swear I remember one that was here, but maybe I'm wrong. What would look like a T-Rex nest? What if it's not the T-Rex nest? What if it's just something else? Yeah, I don't know. Almost messed that up. Dinosaur nest. I mean, this is also a dinosaur thing, so hang on. Okay. Uh, it does have rumble, it has gyro, it has pass through chi uh, charging, it has swappable thumbsticks. There we go. I found it. I had to get like a review of, the, of it. It is mighty tempting, but it's just I worry that I'm gonna. If I get one, then the new Nintendo console will be announced and then it'll be like a moot. I'll, I'll make use of it for like a few months and then, well. It's, 
I mean, I'm convinced they're gonna announce this thing in like March or something. That would be my guess. Announcement in March and then release in October for the holiday season. That's the prediction I have. If they're really greedy, they'll announce it in August and it'll release next year. Because they want to get more life out of the Switch. That's, I feel like that those are the possibilities. There's also, I heard a rumor that, um, Thousand Year Doors releases in August, which, ugh, if it is. It's a long way away. They're losing on the Switch now. I mean, it makes sense. The thing's old. There's only so much they can get out of it. And now that there's like competitors in the space, you, know, you have the Steam Deck, which isn't available everywhere, but then there's this other things that have been released that kind of do similar things. Okay, um, well, if I can't find this dino nest thing, then I'll just move on. Fine. Oh, it's the money stack again. I mean, my bet would be Metroid Prime 4 is going to be the release, the launch title for that new console. It just makes sense. They'll probably have one other surprise, but... That's really the only big game, gigantic game, that they haven't really mentioned. Oh, you can use a dinosaur to break that open. Go across the bridge! Thousand Year Door has the rating already. Yeah. Okay, so what? Usually it's like a couple months after they do the rating. I mean, we'll see. It was just a rumor, anyway. The only game that's, like, I'm torn <laughs> whether or not I'm going to check it out right away is the new Yakuza game. It comes out the day before my birthday, but the problem is it's, like, it's canon. And I'm up to six, so... I need to get through six and seven, which is... It's not going to be a thing. Like, I'm not going to rush those two games. Well, it says nest cleanup, so I wonder if it's just here. Like, maybe I just have to clean this up. Or is it something simple like... 
No. There's gotta be something I'm overlooking here. I think I've smashed everything though. Isn't there another dinosaur? Not that I remember. On other stages, maybe. You should give me bad advice the entire time. Oh, you're trying to gaslight me into believing there's another dinosaur. You know, at a certain point, it's going to become, like, a boy who cried wolf scenario, and the one time where, like, I'm racking my brain out, and I'm spending one hour trying to figure things out, and you actually know the answer, I'm just not- I'm not gonna listen. Only, there's only so many times. Whoops. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It says clean up, so I would assume it's like bone stuff. But I just had to destroy. fine. Uh oh. Ooh. The weird one is I can't get to here. Uh oh. Nope. Bail. <laughs> Alright, but otherwise I think I've done a fine job. I can go to the next area. Even if I don't get everything right away, I can come back for it. <laughs> Leaving! I'm surprised there hasn't been a ground pound one. How did I do anyway? Oh, see, they've got it. Very nice shot. I haven't done the change chomp one. Okay, I mean... <sighs> see, this bothers me now, that... Oh, and Dinosaur Nest. There has to be a second dinosaur spot. Now I'm, like, believing there is one, because... The other one would have said Dinosaur Nest if... if Okay, I'm looking. I didn't get the shot one. I would assume the shot one was like down where I did the billiard sort of gameplay thing. Oh. Ah. <laughs> See ya. This is the dinosaur nest. Okay. Good. How does it, how does it feel to be right? It's been a while. I'm 
means of gaslighting if it's the truth. Well, if you're phrasing it in a way that your intent is to get me to not believe you, even though you are telling the truth, then yes. It's like, there's a second dinosaur lair, winky face. We should totally go to the side of the mountain. Trust me, winky face. just a pipe. Yeah, okay. As thorough as I thought I was. went bad. It doesn't surprise me that the Chain Chomp one has a second moon. Talk to the bird again. Be careful. Very nice shot to change jump. That's it? Okay. It has to be that. Wait, this isn't the chain chomp. I thought it was this one. having a second look around here. I mean, outside of that, the drop down here. Everything's fine. <laughs> Under control. The pipe. This is the one. Okay, so where is the skill shot? Wait, 
fast as heck, I guess it'd probably be the third one. Alright, so why would it say a nice shot? Oh, okay. It's not it, though. Pretty dumb with me, but oh, no. I have to believe. Not that. Hang on, this is how you do it. All right, I had to check. Spawn these. Hmm. Maybe it's not here. I thought I was being clever. Unless there's some other hole in the wall or something. There are other chain chomps. I mean, the suspicion was. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I know where it is. the only other thing where I could do something. Same mechanic. Put this hang on. Nearly. Put this here. Oops. this here. I think I have to hit this thing. This is the one that I have to place. This is going to be annoying, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Otherwise, why would there be two of them? It's like, you have to knock one into the other. Well, that was... Alright, let me try these first. They didn't think this would be a thing. Okay, that helps me get one. I mean, otherwise, where else would it be? Whoops. Okay, so there's only one piece remaining to hit, which is this one. After oh, some out of ideas. It can definitely reach. You just need to angle it correctly. Am I wasting my time here? I might be wasting my time. Okay, I hit the pole. <laughs> okay, I've hit everything. Why are these two here? <laughs> All right. Nice shot with the chain chomp. What? This is the only other chain chomp spot. What if it's just... Maybe I just have to nail this shot. Okay, not quite. What if it's like a triple shot? Oh. <laughs> I mean, you could probably do it. Man. I, I'm severely doubting this one. But if it works, it'll it'll be amazing. Even if it's not a moon, I'll I'll be happy if I get the shot. Ah, Neely, come on. Just slightly off. Oh, you know what? You know what I could do? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I can make this easier.
they did get stunned for a while. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> Why am I still going for this? This is absurd. Okay, hang on. I need to move him. Damn it. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Oh. Just doesn't quite hit it right. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> Almost went in. Slightly off. <laughs> I'm probably driving people insane with this. Like, it's most likely nothing, but I will feel so satisfied that I can land this shot. Oh, come on! <laughs> Trick shot. The thing is, this might sound weird, but I remember doing this, but it doesn't mean that there's necessarily a moon. Like, I probably went down this path in the past, and there was nothing. Okay, five more attempts. Provided it collides. One. Two. That was really close. Three. Four. Last attempt. That didn't count. It has to connect. Okay, hang on. Need to make a move. Oh, dude. It's, it's, just, it's like slightly off. Let me watch them for a minute. They don't really move much. Yeah, okay, I give up. <laughs> We're leaving. It's fine, I got most of it done. There is stuff in the initial kingdom, so I'll probably go back to that. I mean, otherwise, that's not bad. Oh, right. Keep forgetting if you want to travel, you don't actually go in the ship. You go. Okay. 
there is stuff to do in the Cap Kingdom. What are you going to tell me about this time? Oh, no advice? Huh. No, never mind. I think I need the frog. I may have messed up for that. Come here, frogo. <laughs> I love the insane heights this thing jumps at. What was that? It didn't want to give it to me. Oh, really? Well, happened. Just gonna walk on the hills just to make sure there isn't like one of these rumble ones. They don't have stamina. Don't exactly remember if they did or not. Thing. 
Oh, the... Never mind. You never know. This doesn't do anything yet. At least I know where it is. Okay, well, I, I think it's safe to say I've got on everything that I can get with this. Land. I can probably do more with that. Yeah. It just means I can fly higher. Doesn't mean collecting is easier. Not quite high enough for that. Oh, lame. <laughs> Power abandoned. I thought I was being clever. Jeez. Got it. That almost screwed me. See what I can buy. Sorry. Oh yeah, there's usually a door that I can only go in a locked door if I'm dressed a certain way. I didn't find that in the Dinosaur Kingdom.
Hau. Was ist das? Okay. I mean, that, I should... I don't know. I felt like I should have been talking to them. Oh, there's water here now. about something. There's probably nothing, but just thinking about it. Stage. Oh, I thought that was lethal for some reason. It's not. <laughs> Frog is perfectly content. Sure, there'd be something at the top there. Damn it, I'm moving too quickly. Perception. Get up here. <laughs> oh, just barely reaches it. I'm 
I'm not gonna leave just yet. Take it. Gotta get more coins. Eventually they will be spent. as to why this is here. Like, maybe it's nothing. Okay, onwards. Got in everything so far. Remember that there were many moons in this, so we're pretty much done for now. It's just strange that it l just gives you an introduction to the game and then you kind of skip over this whole world for some reason. I don't know. to do it.
Well, that's my bad. I should have waited. I thought I'd be fine. Whoa, careful. <laughs> Almost overshot it. Everything's fine. Close. No! Shit! Oh, shit! Come on! <laughs> Couldn't cut me some slack like I tried to salvage twice. I almost got it. Just a little bit too slow. best. Ugh, damn it. Why am I having so much problems with this? I shouldn't be having problems. How many close calls am I going to have? Fun though. I can't believe I got up the way I did. Oh, it's sad. Climbed all the way up here because I wanted to see the big moon up close. Still not very close, but I found a power moon. Okay. Yes, I could not find out the trick shot, 
for the chain chomp thing, so I left it. I don't think it was in the pipe. I looked. It didn't seem like anything there. It was like what I needed to do. does anything to this. Just turning on all the lights. Oh, I've already been down here. I mean, I can go. I tried again. Just didn't want to. There was another shot that I was trying to make that I feel like probably was pointless. <laughs> don't know, I feel like this is doing something. Turn on all the lights. they remain on. It's either it's something or it's just a waste of time. Slipping through the poison tide. Well, for that, it would have to be like this thing. I almost died. Hey. This is the only way I can think of doing this. You want to eat that fog? What does it look like to you? delicious. I like marshmallow. Hmm. 
like, um, yeah, OBS crashed, so we'll have to do some creative editing <laughs> after the fact. It's okay. I paused as immediately as I saw it. Um, you didn't miss out on much, don't worry. Plus, Twitch has got, like, that crash detection thing. Anyway. Hey, Colin. What else comes to us? I can just download the Twitch VOD and it won't be 14, uh, 4K, but it'll be something. Contingency plans are good. That was my day. It's alright. I'm just enjoying last day of break. But, you know, tomorrow's work, so... Can't be up too late. Going beneath the poison fog. There has to be a specific spot for this. I don't remember this, to be honest. I get the feeling... Do you remember this? I'm sure you do. There's probably a very specific spot where you can go a little bit lower. I mean, if some of these I really get stuck on, I can actually ask the, the toad to give me just where it is. I would like to try and not resort to that, so then I have coins at the end. Imagine something like this where it's, it looks like it's not something you can land on, but then you can. So I'm going to keep looking around the perimeter. Odds are something very close to it. Oh, camera, please. <laughs> I don't know. Just afraid to delve any deeper. Oh, 
There's nothing really that stands out here. Besides from that cube, but we can't do the cube yet. I thought it'd be more obvious than this. Or I've missed the obvious, one or the other. now. The fog looks like crisp snow, that's why you want to eat it. You want to eat crisp snow? I may as well buy the stuff. See what else I can find. Giving the poison tide. Just giving the poison tide. Hidden among the push blocks. Hidden among the push blocks. Push blocks. Really haven't found that many here. I hope it doesn't mean the the bricks. I just call them bricks. Oh, it might be the I don't know. This is going to be the name of something that I didn't know how to name to begin with. Then there's that one. <laughs> that's I think that's just a frog though. Let me go get it. Hmm. <laughs> 
I don't... What I feel like I remember, like, cutting this fog as, as being something you do. I guess if it was, it would be more permanent, but it seems to grow back. Maybe I'm wrong. Grey stuff isn't poison? Okay. Slightly too low. Oh. Uh oh, frog's gonna go. Damn it. I might have to give up. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I keep doing that dive. I don't think I can get it that way. One more try, one more try. Am I shaking the controller? No. I'm using a pro controller. The... Wait, are you telling me that shaking does more? I think it would have been impressive if I had gotten it the other way. Well, that's just trivial. Incredibly trivial. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, they probably did mention it, but I just didn't read it. That is the most likely result. Alright, I'm gonna save it here. And also leave it here. As it is past midnight and tomorrow I have work for the first time this year. Alright, well, it's been fun chat, but I gotta head off. Uh, yeah, sorry for the stream going down, but I gotta back up quickly. Uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, hopefully the VOD's okay. And it's not lowered down, but we'll see. Uh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to support the channel, as always, just uh, do the thing on YouTube, hit the like button, or you can also uh, watch me play other things as well, if you hit one of the videos that pop up. I'll see you next time.